guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley, aka Bubble Bunny, and I have my boyfriend here. My name is Ken. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Ken for the 45th time. Hey guys! <laughs> you want chocolate just to have around? <laughs> just like to grab the. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley, AKA Viva Bunny, and this is my boyfriend, Ken. And you're probably wondering what we're doing with all these gummies. Well, today we're gonna be making some Mexican spicy candy. He's not really a big fan of spicy. Well, I like spicy, I just don't think it goes good with candy. He like literally doesn't want to eat anything that's spicy candy related. But if you didn't know by now, I am Mexican, so. It's in your blood. Why you make it for yourself? It's in your blood. I have to like eat spiciness with everything, with like drinks, chips, candy, food, anything in general. Like if it's not spicy, I don't want it. Get it away from me. Bye. So I watched like a couple of different videos on how to make these because I've never made these before. But I think I know what I'm doing. To be honest, I didn't really like the outcome of any of them. They didn't really look like my cup of tea. I took little bits from here and there and kind of just, I'm going to make my own. He thinks I'm going to totally ruin them because, again, he doesn't like spiciness, but... I will say I'm excited for the sour gummy bears with the spicy because mm -hmm. they're my favorite out of all of these. So for starters, we're going to use this bowl and we're going to do it our way. Your way. It's always my way. Oh. <laughs> so here we have some sour gummy bears, which he's excited for. And we have some gummy worms, better than the trolleys. Oh my god, so much better. And we just recently tried these watermelons. I really like them. Did you like? Yes. Some peach rings and some dinosaurs. So first we're gonna put these in different bowls. Okay, so now that we have all these gummies in separate bowls, we only put like a couple in here. And then if we want more, you can obviously always make more. We'll put these guys on the side here. You trust me? Um, no, but we're gonna try. <laughs> we're gonna start with putting just like a little bit of lime juice. This is what the recipe said? Well, I'm making my own. Yeah, okay, so this is your own recipe. Yes. Cool. I'm gonna want like a teaspoon of that, not too much. She's a professional lime squeezer, or in her words, lemon squeezer. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a lime. To me, this is a lemon because, I don't know, I grew up in a Mexican household, so that was a lemon. No, limon. So it sounds like lemon. Or, yeah, but even in Spanish, it's called una lima. Oh. So, <laughs> I don't know, we always just called it a lemon, so it, it was always a lemon. And then when I started waitressing, so that's how I figured out that we had yellow lemons. The lemons were yellow. <laughs> the because yellow someone lemons. asked me for a lemon and I brought them that green one. They're like, no, this is a lime. And I was like, what? Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> They're like, who is this person? Yeah, so that's how I figured out that there was a yellow lemon and a lime. This is still a lemon to me. And then we're going to add some chamoy. Be careful because this goes everywhere. You're going to want... Two tablespoons. And this is a half, so I'm gonna do four of these. Oh wow, it almost did go everywhere. And then the corn syrup. Okay, this is where it's different because if you don't like like wet gummies, whomever likes spicy candy will know what I mean. Like there's ones that look like dry because it's just a chamoy on it with the with the, the tahin with the chamoy on it. So they look kind of like the the peach drinks right now like dry but with spiciness and what separates these is like they'll be they're like kind of wet looking we found these at ross's once and we haven't been able to find them again and i think they're sold out because i looked for them we looked them we looked for them at ross's again and didn't see them so but we bought three bags yeah because i knew there probably wasn't going to be any more but now we can't find them at all i liked those but not a lot like i could only eat like three every month 
Well, you're gonna need to eat a little bit more than that. Okay, so corn syrup. Then we're gonna add four, four teaspoons of the corn syrup. So then you're gonna want to mix it, and it's gonna look a little bit thick. I smell it. Yeah. It smells like duck sauce. <laughs> smell it. It smells like sweet and sour well, sauce. I don't know what duck sauce. Smells. Or sweet and sour sauce. I'm at. I'm gonna add another half tablespoon. Is this right here gonna be enough to do all this? Yeah, because literally you only need like a little tiny bit on each one. Okay. Remember, if you're feeding other people these candies, make sure you wash your hands. It's gonna look a little bit sticky. Do you wanna stir each one? Yeah. It's obviously easier if you use it in like a Tupperware container, but I won't do that. I'll just shake it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take like a quarter cup of the tahin. I wanna taste that. Okay, then you wanna sprinkle that tahin onto your. <laughs> Mas. Can I see it? That's weird because the ones that the other peach rings that you just showed, when we got those, you really liked those because they were like wet. Yeah, not like dry. Yeah. The peach rings look good. Like you see, they're not. They look just like the other ones. Yeah, they're not like dry because of the corn syrup. Like you see, they're like sticky. Okay, so if you're like into the just spicy and like limey flavor, you'd be okay with just doing that. But if you want them a little bit sweeter, like for children and stuff, because I know some kids do like these too. You want to add a little bit of sugar to them as well. So we're just going to add a little bit at a time. And here we're just like experimenting as we go. Because I want to make my own with you guys. Obviously if you're not picky about each of these. Oops, these. Oops. <laughs> bear down, bear down. If you're not picky about all the gummies being mixed together then you can make them all at the same time but i think also that's another thing there's not really a set thing to say because you can always add whatever you want if you like more chamoy flavor then you add more chamoy if you want more tahini then you add more tahini if you want a little bit sweeter then you add a little bit more sugar you know so i think it's basically up to you but i think we did a pretty good job okay so now that we're finished with all our gummies we're gonna try them and see if they're good and they look really good. Oh, also another idea. I know we just use tajin, but if you go to the your local Mexican uh, store, they have like these other Mexican candies, like they're like powder. And you could probably add those too and then like create like more of a flavor, like a different flavor than just with the tajin. So maybe we should do that next time. Yeah. I didn't think about that. So now let's do the dinosaurs. Okay, these are chewy. Mm. I like those two, but they taste a little bit different because the other ones were like already sour. My mouth is like watering like a lot. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't taste the candy in that at all until the end, until the mixture is all off of it. And the dinosaur are, are like a little bit harder to chew than the rest of the gummies, I think. I'm going to say probably not again. You would. I would eat all these again, like no matter what, so... That's my response to eat it again or not. Okay, let which one do you want to try? Which other gummy bear? <laughs> See, I love that. That is so good. Those are really good. Can I eat that one that yeah. you dropped? <laughs> gummy worm. Gummy worm. Next. Is that cool with you? Yeah. I had a whole lime. Did you just taste like lime? No, I got the orange part, I think. I know, those were good too. I did taste more lemon in this, or lime, lime, in this one. Patriots! Ready? Yep. See, I really like that sticky candy on it. Those are so good. If you guys thought that we were done with this video, we're not done. We have two more treats that you guys could make at home. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm going to show you a super easy snack. Well it's, well, it's a drink, and it's a delicious one. If you love mango, you're gonna love it, and I 
call them mangonadas and I don't know like some other people call it mangoneadas or I don't know comment down below what you guys call them but I call them mangonadas and I'm gonna show you a simpler way to do them you would usually use the actual mango sometimes you go to the store and the mangoes are like green and you don't want to wait I'm gonna show you an easy way that you can make one it's still gonna be delicious so what you're gonna want to do is you take your hoop mix here and you could either put it in an ice cube tray and then leave it overnight. It does take a while to um, freeze. Or what you could do is, I literally just grabbed the plastic baggie, put the Humix in here, and just let it freeze overnight because it does take a couple hours to freeze. I did find that out. You could put it in your blender or whatever. I'm gonna put it in here because in our house, my mom actually uses the blender. So then she uses like uh, peppers and stuff like that. So. It has like that spicy taste, so we're gonna use this guy. So we're just gonna literally just drop it in here. To loosen it up, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the mango juice. Just put the top on. Whatever glass you're using, you want to put some chamoy on it and then use the tahin. Looks nice. You want to cover this with the chamoy. Just be careful because it does spill out everywhere. Just spoon it in there. If you want to add some of this tahin in there as well as you go. You're more than welcome to. You can literally do whatever you want to do to it. You want to add more chamoy. And I like it. I like to taste the spiciness and stuff, so you could do that. I didn't stop by the Mexican store today, but you could literally use these mango tamarindo candies. Just stick that guy right in there. And there you go. You have your mangonada at home, super easy. This was, I got this at the dollar store. I get everything at the dollar store, okay? So this was like a dollar fifty. Oh my God, that is so good. Okay guys, so we are on to snack number three and we're gonna be making some Cheerios, churros. <laughs> We're gonna be making some churros. Wait. I grew up eating churros, obviously. They've been a part of my whole life, but when did you have your first churro? Uh, I think it was like a soggy one from the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> no shade. What's that mean? <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> soggy fucking churro. What, when you met me or? Yeah, yeah, I'd never had a churro before. Okay, so he just had churros recently and every time we go to the bakery, they're either like, we go a little bit late so they've been sitting there so they do get a little bit soggy. We're going to be making some homemade ones today. I'm not even going to try to say what you, like how much of each you need during the video because I feel like nobody pays attention to that. If you want to know what's in the churros, everything that you're going to need is going to be listed down in the description box. Step one, water. So we're going to put some water in there. Okay, we're gonna use, put, wow, these came out like perfect balls. <laughs> Brown sugar in there. Here, do you wanna put in the butter or no? Yeah, I'll put Wait. it in. Do you wanna cut like, oh, he's feeling like an old man. <laughs> Isn't that what you call me? <laughs> okay, hold it, and then just put like little pieces that way. Okay. And melt a little bit faster. All right. So we like try to find something else because we literally been watching Narcos for like months. Obviously, um, the Tiger King, who hasn't watched the Tiger King. And now, because we've watched it, all of our animals have become tigers now. So our bunnies and our cat, they're all tigers. Barry's a panther. Yeah. He's, we have a black bunny. $20 to see him. He's a black bunny, so he, he's a black panther. But now every time we see the cat, we don't even call her a cat anymore. We call her a tiger. You want to let it boil and let the 
um, butter all melt in there pretty good. After that, um... You're mocking me, aren't you? <laughs> we're going to put some vanilla in here. Do you want to add the flour? Yeah. Little by little. Okay. Make sure you don't splash it at me. I won't. I won't. Okay, okay you could put more in. Oh, it's getting sick already. Well, does look like baby food? Uh, yeah, it does. She likes the baby food. I mean, what is wrong with baby food? Like, it's for babies. Ugh. I know, but it's good. We eat a lot of sweets and like. Well, no, we don't. Do we? Do you say what we do? Eat a lot of sweets. We have a cauldron full of chocolate and assorted other candies. We have another whole th bin full of chips. And then we have three drawers with assorted candy in it. And then every night we have sweets. And then all day we're picking at something on the table, whether it's cake, pie, Rice Krispies. <laughs> so no, we don't eat a lot of sweets. <laughs> we you... don't eat enough, have to be honest. <laughs> if anything, I'm going to probably end up on my 600 pound life. No, I th I know we have like a lot of sweets and everything, but I think we do a good job like not eating them all at once. So oh yeah, we sometime. Have... <laughs> no, but we have such a big selection, that's why we don't eat all of it. <laughs> this is what it's gonna look like. See it? Oh my god. Kind of looks like cookie dough. You could either just roll them in sugar or sugar and cinnamon. I don't really like rolling them in cinnamon. Like the cinnamon is so overpowering. Oh, so you just want to do sugar yeah. churros? Is that so? What are the normal churros from Mexico? I think they only have sugar. That's all I remember, just sugar. Put that in a bowl. Okay, so now that it looks like this, you know, want to add one egg at a time. <laughs> So here we have some sugar here it's your preference if you want cinnamon you could add cinnamon to it i don't want cinnamon on them can cut out our churros here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to drop them you could literally just drop this whole thing in there that's just regular parchment paper yeah parchment paper and they will unstick that's such a good way to do it I figured it'd be a lot more complicated than that, but if they just upside down, and then it comes right off the parchment paper. You're gonna wanna keep those in there until they look a little bit dark brown. You can always mess with it and take one out because it does yield a lot. Yeah. So you could take one out and try it, and if it looks a little raw inside, you can still eat it, but just maybe a little bit longer next time, turn the oil down a little bit. I think I might just pipe them into the thing. You gonna try it? Yeah. Do it. I'll watch him. <laughs> it's business. I'm just gonna go out on one there. Then you wanna roll them into the sugar. pan pot whatever you're gonna use is the bigger you can make your churros we just decided to use this one and i think it's a pretty nice size churro really
she's extremely talented at every single thing she does so no matter what it is i always do it a little goofy and she can always do it 10 times better you said um besides driving hi you said what you said i'm extremely talented i said i just burned my hand with the pot i'm kind of clumsy i could just keep eating these churros but i'm so hungry for normal food yeah it is it's 10 o'clock guys we started at we had breakfast at 1 30 today no what time did we start for Five. video how is everybody's quarantine how is everybody taken being in the house because like we said we oh we're always home anyway so yeah it's nothing new to us and i mean it does get a little bit boring because like what can you do like watch tv and stuff but like if you really think about it there's always stuff to do and we're actually giving you guys three new things to do and you don't even have to go to a lot of stores to get what you need for this stuff like just go to the dollar tree always go to the dollar tree and your uh local mexican store bakery whatever you want to call it how much does this cost to make this these churros i don't know i'm gonna say like less than five dollars because the, the sugar flour, is probably the most expensive thing the flour well under ten dollars we're just gonna say under $10. for a lot of churros i can't believe how much this is making and this is only one batch so obviously if you have a bigger family you can make it you could double it or triple it this would yield for a family of four seven churros a piece guys. they're coming out so good now we got the hang of it first you <laughs> you have to get the hang of it because it it is a little bit complicated <laughs> We are on to our last one. Oh my god, it looks like a snake. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed our churonavirus. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us and making these awesome snacks today. We have some spicy Mexican gummies. Uh, we have some churros here. And of course we have our mangonada. If you guys decide to make any of these, let us know how you made out in the comment section below. And as always, we hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video, that you guys are staying safe. Make sure you guys wash your hands and also make sure you guys are staying inside. We know it could get a little boring, but there's literally a million things to do and we just gave you three awesome snacks to make. If you guys like spicy, if you guys like sweet, if you guys like spicy and sweet, there you go. And make sure you guys are staying inside. Seriously. The longer you guys don't stay inside, the longer we're going to stay inside. That made so much sense. <laughs> are, are you being No, scared? yes. It made so much sense. Well, make sure you guys stay inside because the longer you stay inside... Wait, make sure... The longer you don't stay inside, the longer we have to stay inside. How can you say something like that? Perfect. <laughs> but screw up comment section. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to click that little bell. So with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.